due to a remarkable effect of the falling fertility rate. Look here, if we go back into this. I'll show this by showing you the number of children in the world. The number of children from zero to 15 years of age. Here they come. Look, uh, uh, the number of children there increased slowly and then also it increased rapidly. So by the turn of the century here, there were two billion children in the world. And to me, that was an important year because that was when Doris was born. That's my first grandchild. And, and she was born at a very special time for children in the world, you know, because the specialists, the demographers estimate that from this year, the number of children in the world will continue like this. It will not increase any longer. By the end of the century, we will still have two billion children in the world. When Doris was born is when the world entered into the age of peak child. The number of children are not increasing. Now, this will confuse you because how can then the total population grow like this if the children doesn't increase? Where will all these adults come from? And, and to explain that, I have to leave this fancy digital stuff and show you real powerful educational material we have developed. Huh? And it's here. I will show you the world population, ladies and gentlemen, in the form of foam blocks. <laughs> one block is one billion. Huh? One block is one billion. And that means that we have two billion children in the world. Then we have two billion between 15 and 30 years of age. These are rounded numbers. We have one billion 30 to 45. We have one billion 45 to 60. And then we have my block, 60 years and older. We are here on top. Huh? This is the world population today. And you can see that there are three billions missing like here. Uh, only few of them are missing because they have died. Most of them are missing because they were never born. Because back then, you know, before 1980, there were much fewer children born in the world because there were fewer women giving birth to children. So this is what we have today. Now, what will happen in the future? Do you know what happens to old people like me? They die. Yes. There was someone here who works in hospitals. Yeah? <laughs> so <laughs> they die. The rest, they grow 15 years older and have 2 billion children. These ones are now old, time to die. Eh? And then these ones grow 15 years older and they have 2 billion children. This one die and the rest grow 15 years older and have 2 billion children. And without increasing the number of children, without increasing the length of life, we have 3 billion people more by this big inevitable fill up of adults which will happen just when the large young generations grow up. Now, there's one more detail, which is good news for the older ones here, uh, like me, that it's estimated that the old people will live a little longer. So, so we have to add one billion more for the old here on the top. And I'm desperately hoping that I will be part of that group, because then I can live long and read the annual statistic as they come reporting every year. When I talk to many fine environmental activists, which are really have a good concern about the environment, they very often tell me, we have to stop population growth at 8 billion. But when I then talk with them, they, first they don't know that we have reached peak child. And then they are completely unaware that most of the remaining population growth is an inevitable fill up of adults. So we will end up with more or less this amount of people. So, we know how many 